Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about relational operators and its evaluation. And in this lesson, we are going to discuss about logical operators and how to evaluate logical operators when given in an expression. Okay, so let's get started. So how many logical operators are there in C? In C language, there are three logical operators. They are logical and, logical or, and logical not. So I prefer calling it as logical and and operator, logical or or operator, and logical not operator. Okay, and these operators or the working of these operators are based on a specific truth table, right? So first let us understand how the truth table will work. And based on that, we will start evaluating few expressions that involves logical operators. Okay, so let's move on. So as you can see on the screen, I have given you the truth table for logical and and operator, as well as I've also given you an example, okay, to solve for the uh, evaluation of and and operators. Okay, so first let us understand the working of uh, the truth table belonging to and and operator, and then we'll go ahead and uh, you know implement that in the form of an example, right? So first, if given two inputs a and b, and if the value of a is zero, and if the value of b is zero, right? Then a logical and and with b will result in a value of zero, right? So similarly, zero and and with non-zero will result in a value of zero. Okay, and non-zero and end with zero will result in a value of zero, and non-zero and end with non-zero will result in a value of one. Okay, so this is the truth table for logical and and operator. Now, similarly, if I actually put this in the form of an example, okay, so we get the same results, right? So as you can see, zero and end with zero will result in a value of zero, right? I want you to compare this example with the truth table. Zero and end with zero will result in a value of zero. That is the reason I have written zero and end with zero will result in a value of zero, okay? So zero and end with non-zero will result in zero, okay? That is zero and end with non-zero will result in a value of zero, right? So non-zero and end with zero, that is non-zero and end with zero will result in a value of zero. And that is why we get the value of zero over here. So similarly, non-zero and end with non-zero, that is non-zero and end with non-zero will result in a value of one. Okay, so this is how your logical and and operator will work based on the truth table, right? So one thing I want you to observe here is that, okay, the result of, you know, and and operator is one, when both the operands given to it is non-zero value, right? So rest of the values are zero, right? So I want you to observe this truth table and example, you know, very carefully before moving to the, you know, uh, further slide, I want you to memorize this truth table so that you will be in a position to evaluate logical expressions faster, okay? So if you have memorized this table, let's move on to the next truth table for logical error operator. Right. So as you can see on the screen, uh, this is the truth table for logical ROR operator. Okay. So let me, uh, you know, help you understand how this works. If given two inputs A and B, and if the value of A is zero, and if the value of B is zero, then A logical ROR with B will result in a value of zero. Right. So similarly, zero ROR with non-zero will result in one, non-zero ROR with zero will result in one, and non-zero or or with non-zero will result in a value of one, okay? So when I apply this to table with an, in a, uh, into an example over here, so as you can see, uh, zero or or with zero will give us a value of zero, okay? Again, I wanted to compare this example with the truth table over here, okay? So zero or or with zero will result in a value of zero, and that is why I've written zero or or with zero will result in a value of zero, okay? Zero or or with non-zero will result in one, that is zero or or with non-zero will result in one, okay? So non-zero or or with zero. Non-zero or or with zero will result in a one, okay? And then non-zero or or with non-zero will result in a one. That is non-zero or or with non-zero will result in a one, okay? So that is the reason I told you earlier that to understand or to work with logical or or operator or and and operator, it is important that you have to first understand how this truth table works, right? Once you understand and memorize this truth table, then it becomes very easier for you to solve expressions based on logical operators, okay? So one more thing which I would like to tell you here before proceeding further is that, okay? So wherever you see zeros and ones, okay? They are considered as true and false, right? That is a zero is considered as false, okay, and one is considered as true. In fact, in C language, okay, uh, zeros are considered as false and not just one, but any non-zero value is considered as true in C language, right? So wherever you see non-zero over here, you can consider that as, okay, 
true and wherever you see zero you can consider that as false okay so having said that even i would recommend here also to memorize this the two table before proceeding further with this video okay if you have done uh, memorizing this two table for logical order then we'll go and see the next operator uh, in you know in the set of logical operators right so that is logical not operator right this is the final operator in the set of logical operators so logical not operator is a unary operator as you can see not operator works on only a single operand and uh, the way it works is you know uh, quite simple that is whenever you apply a logical not operator on a zero value you get the result as one and whenever you apply a logical not operator on a non zero value you get the result as zero i'll re i'll repeat applying logical not operator on a zero value will result uh, will give you the value as one and applying a not operator on a non zero value will result in a value of zero right so uh, this is how your logical operators will work so based on this understanding of logical operators so we will go ahead and solve some expressions okay let's move on so as you can see on the screen we have expression 1 which says 2 and and with 4 or or with you know non logical not of 8 so this is an expression as usual whenever you are solving any expression we must understand the priority of those operators so among logical operators logical not is given the highest priority and logical and and is given the second priority logical or or is given the third priority right and uh, also coming to associativity right so logical not operator follows right to left associativity logical and 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 logical or or follows the left to right associativity okay so for those people who don't understand associativity i would recommend you to go and watch my previous two lessons where i have discussed associativity in detail as a quick recap associativity rule tells that whenever an expression is given which contains multiple operators that has the same priority then associativity rule will tell you which operator has to be evaluated first right no so it could either be right to left or left to right right so uh, in my case okay in our case that is in, in the case of logical operators okay so logical not is given the right to left associativity and logical and 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 logical or or is given the left to right associativity okay so having said that let me go and uh, you know evaluate this expression in the next slide okay as you can see this is the same expression that i showed you in the previous slide okay so as we know that the not operator is given the highest priority the second priority is given to and and operator and the third priority is given to or or operator right so i'll have to first evaluate this expression or i will have to evaluate these operators based on the priority right so uh, let me first evaluate the not operator and we know that when we apply logical not on a non zero value this gives me the result as zero value the rest i will keep it as it is okay two and and with four or or with zero now after evaluating the first priority operator now the second priority is given to and and operator so i'll have to evaluate it and with the knowledge of our truth table we know that non zero value and and with non zero value will result in a one value and that i will or or with zero so again with the knowledge of our truth table for or or operator we know that non zero value or or with zero value will result in a value of one so one is the answer for our expression two and and with four or or with not eight right so let me solve one more expression so that you will understand the concept better so with our understanding we know that you know logical not is having the first priority and and is having the second priority and logical or or is having the third priority right so let me first evaluate it, evaluate this not operator and we know that whenever we apply not operator on a zero value this will result in a value of 1 and let me keep the remaining as it is okay and and of 1 okay the second priority is given to and and operator so i'll have to evaluate this first before or or operator therefore with the knowledge of truth table of and and operator we know that a non zero value and and with a non zero value will be a one okay again okay i then as the last evaluation i will have to evaluate the or or operator right so non zero value or or with uh, uh, non zero value that is sorry zero value or or with non zero value will result in a value of one right so this is based on our understanding of two table of uh, logical or or operator right so after evaluating this expression we give we get the result as uh, you know one okay so this is how your logical operators work and this is how you can evaluate uh, logical expressions using priority and uh, the associativity rule right so let us cross verify our understanding of the evaluation you know practically by solving a problem uh, you know using dev c++ id right so 
I have an IDE IDE over here, so I have already given this. I have already written a program here. Okay, as you can see, I've used the same expressions. We solved two expressions, and these are those two expressions. So the well, the result for the first expression would be stored in the value in the variable a, and the result of the second expression would be stored in the variable b. And when I actually try to uh, print the values of a and b, I must be able to get one and one because that is the answer that I got when I actually solved this expression manually. This is for the first expression that is one, and this is for the second expression again one. Okay, so let us go ahead and uh, see if it works in the way that you know we did it manually. Okay, I will compile this first. As we can see, there are no errors and warnings, and then I'm good to go to run this program. Let us wait for the output. As you can see, we have got the value of a as one and the value of b as one. It means that our understanding of the uh, evaluation of logical operators are absolutely right. Okay. So having said that, so I prefer giving you an assignment so that you know you can solve it by yourself. Right. So the assignment is on the screen: five and end with zero, or or with six, or or with not of zero, and end with one, or or with four, and end with three. Okay. So I've given you this bigger expression so that I want you to make use of associativity rule. Okay. So as I said, also when you are using associativity rule, you have to uh, evaluate those operators which comes first from left to right based on that set of priority operators. Okay. So that is the reason I want you. you to work on this and uh, please do pause the video right now go grab a pencil and a paper and scribble on a notebook and find the answer for this expression and please post the answer in the comment box below okay uh, i want to see how many of you have got the right answers so please don't post it with the video until you have uh, uh, solved this only then you will be able to learn logical operators okay so if you have done that so this is the end of this lesson hope you enjoyed this lesson hope you learned how logical operators works and how to evaluate logical operators when given in an expression okay so if you have like this lesson then please don't forget to like the video also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you will be uh, receiving all my updates on my upcoming lessons in this programming series okay so having said that that meet you in the next lesson where i'm going to discuss about bitwise operators okay which is very it's a heart of c programming language okay so we will have fun through bitwise operators okay so meet you in the next lesson until then take care bye bye love you all so much